All right. Um, time for Illustrator. Okay, so I just uh, reminded myself that I actually forgot to talk about something really important, uh, and that's the different ways in which you can paste things. And uh, uh, this is gonna be—it's uh, gonna sound stupid, but it's, these these things are actually useful. So sometimes you want to create things which are like kind of along a grid or or whatever. Um, so let's say uh, you want to create several squares and you want to duplicate that square, right? So you want to have a, a square here and then you want to have a square here and here and so forth, right? Let's say that you want to do that. Uh, so if you just copy, so I'm pressing Control C here and then you paste, it'll paste it in some random place. Uh, you probably noticed this, right? So if you want to place it exactly on top of it, you can use edit paste in front. That's control F. That's right on top of control V, right? And now it's pasted it exactly on top of the thing. So now you can use your arrows and you see it's aligned left, right? So th then you don't have to move it around anymore. You can also use paste and back, which is exactly the same thing, but now it places it underneath. Um, so yeah, so yeah. Um, right, so now we're going uh, forward with the uh, sizing and rotating stuff. Um, so, uh, once again, to, uh, to do size things, uh, you want to use the arrow tool. And once you have something selected with the arrow tool, uh, you can... So, unfortunately, you don't see it on the screencast, but uh, you have these little handles which are going to change the icon. By dragging this thing, you can resize Thing. Now, if you press shift on your keyboard at the same time, you're constraining the aspect ratio. Um, now, there's a couple of caveats, and this is going to this guy actually going to answer uh, one of your questions that you had previously about uh, outlines and shit and things. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, uh, the, so the caveats is that when you scale something in in, uh, in Illustrator, uh, sometimes the strokes are like the lines. Basically, they they appear to change size, and sometimes they appear not to, uh, according to some like weird algorithm. So the mystery of that is as follows: um, in the window transform, there is <laughs> the tiniest little option which is scale strokes and effects right so right now i'm scaling strokes and effects so for example if i have a line which is um say five points and i click it and i make it bigger right now you see the line is is fatter as well as being longer however if i redo the same thing and now I, dis uh, I unselect scale strokes and effects. Once I resize it, ah, it goes, it, it grows uh, longer, but it doesn't grow fatter, right? So it's the same point size. So it's the same thickness. So this is actually, uh, so let me give you another example. So now we have a full plot over here. Um, uh, so what I can do is, I can make it smaller and then I click scale strokes and effects and that's going to make so relative to the size of the plot the lines are now bigger than they were before right and now if I zoom into it again oh the lines are fatter isn't that something that's and then, obviously only for lines though right yeah that only works for lines right so you can you, you can do this a couple of times and then you can get like humongous lines without affecting anything else inside of a plot. So uh, it's always always be careful to check the right thing over here, uh, depending on, usually you want to scale strokes and effects, uh, but sometimes you, you don't, like sometimes your lines are too thin in, in your plot. So when you use that trick that I just showed you, make them smaller uh, without having selected the scale thing, and then you reselect the scale thing, and then you make it bigger. So that clear okay um, now uh, another way of, uh, of changing the size of things is using this uh, this thing on top so when you uh, so when you use the um, the arrow tool and 
you select something, then you have the option of changing the size. So for example, I can make this 10 inches large. Uh, if you select this thing, then it's going to constrain this length thing. It's going to constrain it to be uh, to, to conserve the aspect ratio. Uh, sometimes you want to you want to constrain the the, 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 the point at which it's growing uh, from, right? So right now it's growing from the center. So look at this carefully, right? This is the center about, right, of the figure. And then if I make this 15, you see it grew from that point. But sometimes that's not what you want. You know, you want it to grow from the left, for example. So th these are what these icons do, the reference point. And now, oops, that ah, it's, it grows from the from the left. So these things can be useful sometimes.